So, continuing where we left off, how did you meet the girl who looks like that angel? Must you keep? Come on, it's all right. It's no big deal. See, Fen Fen, we have your lord's permission. <laughs> How did we meet? Oh, that's right. It was back when I was still known as the Tyrant. Back then, I was still following my instincts, beating sense, namely fear, into the humans, and drank as much of their blood as I desired. And then she appeared before me. Love at first sight? Oh! <laughs> so... This is how the, the love started? Desco will see right through this love as a final boss. Love at first sight? Me? I'm curious to learn what kinds of strange things your brains are stuffed with. Demons have an important duty, keeping order in the universe by planting fear into the humans' minds to tame them. Unaware of our noble duty, the humans made us out to be vulgar beings with their exaggerated depictions of demons. Even things like how vampires love to suck the blood of beautiful women and virgins, and other false rumors. Artina and I met during a vampire hunt that began thanks to one of those rumors. Artina wasn't afraid of me. She even sympathized with me. You need human blood to survive? I feel for you. If you'd like mine, go ahead. Not to flatter myself, but I'm pretty cute and I'm a virgin. My blood should taste mouthwateringly good. But promise me one thing. Please don't drink any other human's blood after this. You? Aren't you worried for your life? Who are you not to fear me? I'm just an average civilian. I'm also a nurse. I try to keep myself pure, so please... Go ahead and take my blood. My pride will not allow me to indulge in the blood of a human who possesses no fear of demons. To fulfill my duties as a demon, I will bring you to the depths of fear before I take your blood. Uh-huh. Okay, it's a promise then. Please don't take anyone else's blood until you scare me somehow. A promise, you say? I am pleased. I will take up that promise. Scaring you shouldn't be much of a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you better keep it. Just so you know, it's actually going to be quite tough to scare me. Plus, we're in the middle of a war. Just pray for me so I won't die before you get the chance to scare me. <laughs> Demons don't pray. However, it wouldn't be good for me if you die. Very well. Until I keep my promise, I'll watch over you so you won't die. Nevertheless, it won't take long. I give it three days until I get to take your blood. Is that the reason why you stopped drinking blood? A vampire's power comes from human blood. If he won't drink it, then of course... His power has gone. That is the biggest regret of my life. I were by his side, that wouldn't have happened. N no way! How could a legendary tyrant drop to this level just because of some promise that he made to a human female? Well, what happened, happened. He's a pretty instructor now. Anyway, I never would have expected you to be the type who would go head over heels for some lady. You wanted bastards? Die! You die! We were in the middle of some love talk! Dusko will not let anything come between Big Sis and love talk! Dusko will kill you! You females and your romance. Ah, <clears throat> uh, then again. Oh. Fully blame them. That Artina chick is voiced by Carrie Savage. A totally inappropriate last name considering she almost exclusively voices like the most pure and innocent <laughs> characters in existence. I mean now she's a pure hearted uh, nurse who's I'll do my best. 
making a vampire promise not to drink anyone else's blood. I'm giving a bit hasty with a measles since he just learned a new attack. His new special skill, which I am always tempted to see right away. Um, this map is neat. This is the 5-2 uh, I told you about, which is good for post... which is good for grinding. What the best spot for grinding at this point? Damn, Weasel. <laughs> um, if I were more patient, what I should have done was put Fenric on the warp tile and wait until I got to the geoblocks up on top of the Perny statue because I could negate the enemy. No, the enemy boost panels in the back, but I could throw up the three enemy uh, experience plus tiles, I believe. Um, when you come back to this map, uh, the warp panels are gone, and instead there's just, uh, four 50% uh, experience blocks in each corner. So in the first turn, you can double experience, and if you're fast enough, you can get to the back ones and get plus 200% experience. Um, you know, I, I used it, like, four or five times. I, I, didn't, I don't like getting too overpowered in the story because it makes it kind of a bore after that. Um, the mages here are great because they're one of the few classes I have that have the uh, square area of effect. Of course, killing these cats is proving to be pretty irksome. Yes, that's a word. Okay. <laughs> um, now let's... Wow, she is so much stronger than mine, which is... Alright, well, we have four monster classes on this map, three of which I have not reviewed yet. So I think it's best we go into one of them. Hmm. So go for the chickens, the dogs, or the cats. Oh. Well, I had chicken for dinner last night, so let's go for the cats. Totally arbitrary reason. Yes, the rock class. R O C, not R O C K. Rocks are some of the best support characters when you go after serious bosses. These monsters give you deprave attacks and a series of debuffing abilities that are top notch. Miasma of Silence prevents special skills, and that's a great way to limit enemy bosses from killing many characters at once. Surround the fiend, put a rock nearby, and force the foe to contend with many counterattacks and limited direct damage output. Beyond that, Miasma of Darkness is just amazing. Deprave is already one of the best boss killing ailments. The reduced stats make them that easy, that much easier to hit, to damage, and to kill. This is a cumulative bonus, so the normal 20% effect lets you kill an enemy with less than 80% of your normal damage output. When a rock doubles the effect, you can rip through enemies. If you can't get a rock over your chosen target, either throw the target to your rock or vice versa. Have the rock stick to that enemy like glue and focus on status ailments exclusively. The direct damage done by a rock is entirely irrelevant. Uh, again, this is one of those classes that is oh so annoying to fight. A lot of your, a lot of skills for melee characters, um, you know, you have to be right next to them to do. And Miasma of Silence is base ability. Um, adjacent um, enemies cannot use special skills. It foils you in the item and character world so much. Uh, I'd imagine that if you made a rock of your own and you abused this ability to the full extent, you could outright nerf a lot of the enemies in the game. Um, a totally viable strategy, uh, although one that takes a bit more, uh, I want to say extrication, or a little bit more effort to, to use, but the payoff could soon be worth it than just power leveling and doing raw damage. For a lot of the post-game bosses, um, this ability could be, um, like, indispensable. And it's useful with even just a level 1 rock. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, magic chain type is a spear. Uh, let's go over the abilities first. Uh, Miasma of Silence we covered. The second skill is Miasma of Lays. Uh, lowers the speed of adjacent enemy units by 50%. Aha! Again, also useful. If you're going to be using your Miasma of Silence already, I would definitely recommend equipping this because um, half the speed, all your other characters have a much better chance of hitting. And the highest bosses with really high stats usually, um, don't be surprised if you miss 
frequently. So, again, e even more useful for the rock. And But a monster can equip three abilities, so you can have those two plus a third. Uh, let's see, the third one, Miasma of Darkness, doubles the stat-lowering effect of Deprave for adjacent enemy units. Uh, again, a lot of his attacks... Let's see... Uh, okay, his second skill, Boomerang Band, causes Deprave. Um, but he also gets a skill called Blank Out to stop targets from using their special attacks. So you can... Oh, wait. This is sometimes even better than the disabling the monster. If you have a decent character with a high defense and strong counter attacks, you can use Blank Out to lure a monster into a direct assault. When that happens, your physical to defender can counterattack. Alright, that's not what I thought. However, you can teach it the normal um, status spell, Deprave. Well, no, the, the, name, the name of the status is Deprave, but the name of the spell to cause it is I Can't Remember. But you, you can reincarnate um, a class that learns the skill into a rock, or um, you could teach it through the character world. And after you've done that, when you uh, Deprave lowers, your, lowers the enemy's stats. Okay, that is weird. <laughs> I think the skill is like even dogs can climb trees. Ah, uh, this is the, this is the skill that causes depraved. How did he hatch all those different monsters? Ugh, that's so gross. <laughs> This enemy class really is the jerk of the Disgaea series. They're so annoying. Um, and the last one, Miasma of Defiance. Reduces the elemental stats of adjacent enemy units by 50%. Um, good for mages, if you use a lot of mages like I do. Just stick a rock next to them, nuke them with your, uh, nuke them with your magic attacks, and then re withdraw the rock, and then move it to another target. So much use from a class that doesn't even attack. Um, a highly viable monster. Something I can't believe, again, that I haven't used yet. I stick to my guns so frequently. Alright, uh, let's see. Aptitudes. For the Cockatrice, that's the base one. Uh, HP 100, SP 100, Attack 120. That's actually a really good attack. Defense 90, Intelligence 80, Resistance 110, Hit 110, Speed 80. It's better attack than I would have thought. So they can even do decent damage. Alright, then we got the Basilicro, the Paraton, the Malthas, the Secundus, and the Abraxas. If someone would like to enlighten me as to what an Abraxas is, that'd be interesting. Magic change type is a spear, 0% fire resistance, wind resistance 50%, and negative 50% resistance to ice. Oh, and the Abraxas aptitudes. HP 125, SP 125, attack 145, defense 115, intelligence 90, resistance 135, hit 135, speed 90. All in all, a really great supportive monster that doesn't even have to do damage, but can do good damage if you want. Uh, let's see, its attacks are Chicken Cyclone. It can cause paralysis, and I, th I think it's like, it's like Bloody Hole, where it can only attack all adjacent spaces. Boomerang Band, uh, it can cause the Crave, it has a fixed area of effect. Power is E, Chicken Cyclone with power is F. City Dragger, power is C, it can cause Forget, that's the one that, um, that, that's like silence. You, you can't use special attacks. It's Rocks aren't that big on range damage, but this attack hits enemies fairly well. Even better, you can cause them to forget skills. Yep. And the last one is, Defen is Descending Phoenix. Also, attack power of C. Um, so, their, their, their skills don't do the most... aren't the most powerful. Like, a lot of other monster classes get A and S skills. But uh, their utility is fantastic. Let's see. For their magic change shields, we got Break Shot, which can cause paralysis and is a E-powered attack. I'll teach you a lesson. And then, but but its area of effect so it hits more than one. And the last one is Reverse Egg. I can only imagine. Yeah, 
And that's the rock class. A very interesting monster. Um, if it wasn't so cosmetically horrendous, <laughs> I might have made one a long time ago. I mean, it's a goddamn chicken with a ball chin the size of Wyoming. Ugh. It's just not pleasant to look at. Not like the... I mean, look at that dog, that Mystic Beast. That thing is boss. I might review that thing next. Still got a lot of monsters. The nice thing about this is that as many chapters as there are, there's about just as many classes I can review, so I can be doing this for a long time. Let's see. What, what's funny is when I'm reading from the guide, I'm hardly ever noticing what I'm doing on the screen because uh, I'm looking down and reading, so I glance up every now and then like, oh, look, I'm doing a cool attack. Uh, let me comment on this real quick. <laughs> How did he do that? Let's play. You know what's cool? Slimes have Let's horrible play. movement, but there I'm finding that there are certain monster weapons and certain um de defense accessories that increase your movement like a shoe a pair of shoes would. Very rare. Uh, but like, for instance, it, you can't get it for a long time, but the Samurai Robe, uh, item, uh, armor, can increase your movement by one. Likewise, uh, there's an, uh, and I, I noticed it haphazardly, and there's a monster weapon called, like, Cerberus Jaw, I think, and I think it does the same thing. Oh, well, oh, that's it for this installment. Yay! My Magic Knight! I can finally make it! So, back to our conversation. You still insist on keeping this up? Enough already! Sometimes it's important to hear what your subordinates have to say. It's fine. Ask me anything. My lord, are you actually enjoying this? <laughs> he refused to talk earlier, but he's willing to tell us about it now. We're just like real friends. Okay, I've got a question. So, is that promise really the reason why you stopped drinking human blood? Indeed. It must have been really important if it got a vampire to stop drinking human blood. Promises, contracts, they are equally noble and sublime to demons. Importance is not the point here. However, I wasn't aware of the weight of a promise back then. After that promise, after I told her I'd watch over her so she wouldn't die, I took the promise lightly. I felt the weight of it through severe pain three days later. And that's why you're so obsessed with keeping promises. But what are you going to do now that the person you made the promise to is dead? Are you never going to drink blood ever again? Her life or death doesn't matter. I will keep my promise. I made a vow to myself that day. I will never break a promise. He won't change his mind, no matter how many times I tell him to forget the promise. That's why he remains so powerless. The reason that woman died was because of a human war. Our lord is not to blame for this. It's all because of that futile promise. Say no more, Fenric. Since she died before I got to keep my promise, I must refrain from drinking human blood. Anyway, if that angel is Artina, then this is good news for me. Finally, have the opportunity to scare her and drink her blood. I really hope that's how he truly feels. 